Yes, you can easily spray your own house for bugs, or you can pay $500 a year, have to schedule appointments, meet the bug guy who probably knows less about what he's doing than you do, and over a 20 year period, spend 10 grand. Or you can invest like, you know, 150 and do it yourself for the next five years. It's real simple, guys. This is what I use Telstar. Now, I've also used a product in the past. I bought this jug about four years ago, but there's another product made by the company Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R, you know, the big German pharmaceutical company called Suspend. Between this, Talstar and Suspend, from what I've been told, those are the two main products that all the big uh, bug control companies use, you know, the people that knock on your door. It is so simple. You want to read the directions, okay? Make your own decision if you want to take this on by yourself or not, but read the directions. I write on my bottles what I need to mix up. This says one ounce per gallon. So three times a year, I'll put an ounce of this or maybe two ounces for two gallons and go around the perimeter of my house where the foundation meets the ground and I'll spray that area about a foot up the foundation and about a foot out into the ground. And also you wanna go around your window frames and your door frames. You wanna use your head, like think, where do spiders hang out? Up in, like inside corners, if you have any of those, like the eaves, you can spray up there. You can reach almost 20, 25 feet with this thing when it's got a lot of pressure on it. Oh, and by the way, this is the Smith contractor grade pump sprayer. I've had this one for seven years. That's an awesome tool. I'm going to put links to all of this in the description below. Where you can get the pump sprayer, where you can get the bug spray, where you can get whatever you need to do this on your own. But spray around your house, like I said, spray around your window, spray around your doors. I do it at least two times a year, once in the spring, once in the fall, and oftentimes if I'm feeling highly motivated or my wife thinks she saw a spider, which rarely, if never, happens in our house, I may do it again once during the summer. Now, like I said, once a year, usually in the spring, I'll spray inside like the basement. I don't use a lot of this like in our living areas or anything like that. That's just a decision that I made and we never see spiders. Now, when you're done, what I do highly recommend you do is get yourself maybe some of these. This is a Harris Pro spray bottle, or to be honest with you, you may be wondering how I get these great hairdos. Well, I use this stuff. Suave Max Hold Hairspray, but when they're empty, I take hot water, thoroughly clean them out, thoroughly clean them out. Whatever bug spray I have left in here, I'll get a funnel and I'll either put it into one of these or into one of these and then very clearly mark it that that's what it is. If by chance my wife sees a spider upstairs in one of the bathrooms or whatever, I may take this and just do a little spot treatment in the corners in the bathroom underneath the the uh, vanity sink where the plumbing pipes come through the walls. I'm telling you, you can do this and you will over time eliminate most any spiders or bugs coming into your house and save yourself thousands of dollars. Over the last, I've been living here 20 years, I've saved, I know, at least fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm going to put links to all these products in the description below. Be well, and I'll see you next time.